we're going to look at the exercise one of Logix Pro. So if we go to help and go to student exercises, this first one here, the introductory exercise. Now, most of these are pretty easy, and the most questions seem to be this very last section, create, enter, and test a program which will perform the common electrical function of controlling light from two different locations. Okay. These two switches, that lamp, and it says hint, if both switches are on, or if both switches are off, then the lamp should be on. Okay. So, let's go look at Logix Pro. Here we go. When you first open it, it looks like this. Now, if you want to change the size, you just need to grab right where they meet, and you can drag it back and forth. Some machines, I found that seems to be kind of a pain to get to work. If you go to Simulations and I.O. Simulator, there we go. We even get the fun little sounds. Now, before we start on anything, if you notice, we've got these little switches. If you right-mouse click on them, you can change the types. All right, so the default type is just a normally open switch. If you right-mouse click, it'll change to a momentary push button. So when you push it, it closes. Then a normally closed momentary push button. Then this is actually... It's basically a spring-loaded, normally open switch, so it looks a little funny. And that's a spring-loaded, normally closed switch. And then we go back to a normally open. And we'll leave it there for now. And our output, if you really want to change it, you can change the color and all that fun stuff. So, they hinted and said if both are open, it comes on, or if both are closed, it comes on. Now, if we think back to some of our logic... Let's grab another rung in here. Oops, didn't do it. We'll just click on it. There we go. If we want to say if both 0 and 1 are on, then we have an output on. So if I come and grab... There we go. So this is an examine if closed. And so that's what we're going to try it. Now to give it a value, if you just come over here and grab the value, just click on it with your left button, drag it up into the question mark, there it is. We'll grab another one and bring it out. Or, if you double-click on the question mark, you can say I colon 1 slash 1. And it's the same thing as dragging this over. So let's bring our output. But on this little simulation, it's really cool where we can just drag the stuff over and it saves time typing. Now, let's test it out. We'll go download, run. Okay, that one's on. That one's on. Okay, so that part works. And our light comes on. Now if one of them opens, the light turns off. Right, so it does not come on unless both of them are on. But the other thing is we wanted it so if both of them are off, the light should come back on. But amazingly, it's not working. Now, two components in series is an AND. Two components in parallel, which we can bring in a circuit here. So if I drag this, and this is just kind of an example I want to show you. Two components in parallel become an OR. So let's download this and look at it. So we can say if this OR this are on, the output comes on. Okay. But we want to make it so that if... Oops, not download. Let's go to program mode. We want to make it so if input 1 and input 2 are on, then it comes on. And then if input 2 and input 1 are off, then it comes on. Now, this is going to seem a little crazy, and we're actually going to build this circuit real circuit. So let's, oops, not data table. Let's go edit symbol. Let's call that S1. Edit symbol. And you notice when I do this that both of these are, this is like the switch one. So this is a normally closed version of switch one, normally closed version of switch two. Let's go download this. Run. So you can see if 
If both of them are off, the normally closed side is on, and our output is on. If both of these are off, the normally closed side is off, yet the closed side is on. And sometimes it helps if you look at it, these are actually examine if closed, examine if open. So what it's saying is, if the switch is closed, turn this thing on. If the switch is open, turn it on. So these can be a little misleading when you're looking at them, and it's, it's difficult to explain, but you play with it, and it will start making sense, I hope. That or you'll just figure out which way it works and go from there. So I just finished the circuit that we're talking about, and this is really a... Oh, we've got to run it again. Download and run. This is really how like a three-way switch works in your house. Like you've got a switch at one end of your room and a switch at the other end of the room. So it's kind of slick.